Number seven, wealthy people visualize success. In another teaching, we are going to take time to really expand the power of your thinking, talking, and think, uh, and you will see how they connect. Your talk and your thought, they go a long way in what you will be. I want you where you are right now to imagine the seaside, Miami Beach, people running around, everyone enjoying themselves while the wind blows and the sea is also, the waves are coming and going. Somebody's selling ice cream. It's a hot, sunny day. And there's also some hot dogs and burgers to buy. Can you visualize it? I'm sure it almost made you hungry. Same thing. That thing that made you visualize and straight away you could smell the burgers and you could almost practically see the ice cream and taste it on your throat is the same tool given to you by your maker to be able to use to achieve things. Many never use it to do anything. Some use it to visualize evil. So when you visualize success, you expect it and then you put effort. Then things happen. These are habits of wealthy people. They sit down every day and they begin to imagine and visualize how the product they are creating or the service they are providing or the problem they are solving, how it will bring wealth to them. Because you've heard me say it several times. It is not your passion that makes you wealthy. It is the problem you solve. I hear a lot of young people, I want to follow my passion. Hey, bro, don't follow your passion. Solve a problem, then solve it with passion. Then wealth will come. How many people have wasted? I've been to Hollywood several times, preaching in Los Angeles. For every one actor who made it in Los Angeles, there are 10,000 on the streets of Los Angeles who never got even a part to just walk in the film because they followed their passion. They left home. How many are carrying songs around? Oh, I have a song. This song is going to be a hit. And nobody heard their song. Find problems. Solve the problem. And favor and finance will come to you. Today, there are many people who have solved problems in this 21st century, which we thought was not possible, and are beginning to make us see that, look, if you can think, you can think, change things around. Now we have electric cars moving around and already explorations with driverless cars. Some might even say, how is that possible? <laughs> when the car first came in 1886 or thereabout, when the Ford T was created by Henry Ford, some people said, this thing is going to kill man. Anything faster than five miles per hour is too fast. They should live today and see some mean Lamborghinis, some Veyrons, some unusual sports cars move at about 250 miles per hour. So what you question today is the reality of tomorrow. Number eight, avoid junk food. Remember we're talking about how do you run your daily life to end up being financially successful? What has food got to do with it? Poor people don't do exercise and they don't care what they eat. Full stomach is their first thought. The coronavirus pandemic killed a lot of people in a particular community. In the United States of America, particularly people of color. In the United Kingdom, particularly people of color. Many have asked the question, could it be racism? Could it be classism? Listen, the worst prejudice is self-prejudice. I do not have all the answers on that, but I am personally convinced as a person of color myself, I know that in my community, the first thing people think of is food that fills the stomach. The second thing people think of is food that appeals to their taste bud. The third thing people think of is the food of their culture. So people from Ghana would prefer food from Ghana. They would not ask what the nutritional value is. The people from Kenya, the people from the Caribbean, the people from Nigeria will first think food before they think nutritional value. For example, 
If you come from the Caribbean, you are likely to like salt fish and ackee. This is fish that is embedded in serious salt. Salt spikes your blood level. Salt begins to destroy your capacity, the capacity of your lungs and your, and it heightens your blood level. Same thing with Africa. The Africans like a lot of carbohydrate as long as it fills the stomach. There are wealthy people, of course, in all these parts of the world, but we're saying for the new people who are going to break through, you cannot succeed operating on low energy and eating the things that do not help your strength and your health. Also, what's the use creating the wealth and you are not around to enjoy it? You must stay to enjoy it. You must stay to benefit from it. Number nine, avoid <laughs> reality TV and most social media. Yeah, I know we push the money masterclass on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Vimeo, uh, Twitter. I have large following, close to a million on Facebook, close to half a million on Twitter, 40,000 on Instagram. But listen, in order for me to really be focused, I cannot afford to go to those places and stay there because one distraction leads to another distraction, another distraction. You want to create wealth, maximize your hours, maximize your days, maximize your times, make your impact, make your life count, touch lives with your life, do something that nobody thought you could do. And lastly, avoid gambling. The poor always expect luck, luck, luck. Every time I go around, I see lottery places. I see places where there is horse racing betting. I see places where they have a small machine for betting. Most people who sit there to bet are poor people. And they make their contributions every hour to somebody who's collecting and becoming a mega millionaire. They do not realize, let me tell you the truth, I do not have all the answers on betting. But I once met a young man, I said, what job do you do? He said, I'm one of those who do the programming, the computer programming behind the betting company. Oh, so in other words, they manipulate the winning options. Do you think the company that hired him will make him manipulate the system to work against them? No. Matter of fact, I am convinced that they must have created a system where they say, no matter how many times this person plays, give him little, little winnings so he thinks he's winning, so that he'll get sucked in and throw big money at us until we get him departed from his money. So my dear friend, there are several habits that can lead to wealth creation. We've shared with you about 10 today. If you can form these habits, if you apply them daily, you'll find your mind beginning to walk in the direction of wealth creation. Please do not forget, we are here to help you make, manage, and multiply money. Like this video, share it, and please stay tuned with us. Join us in our seminars and uh, register for our seminars. Not only register for our seminars, Make sure you follow us and actually go to our website, matthewashimalo.com. Be good.